What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the vast world of No Man's Sky. Guiding Light here, back with another guide. So in today's guide, I actually have a bit of a glitch for you guys. I found out a way to do absolute max DPS in this game, and there's actually a bit of a glitch where you can use two weapons at the same time and just do absolutely ridiculous damage, as you probably saw right there. So this is going to be a little bit of a guide on how you can actually do the maximum damage in this game. Now, it is best to keep in mind that you will not want to have the scatter charge on your gun. It is a lot more effective, it does a lot more damage, but the only problem is you will have to reload every two bullets. So you do not want to have the wide shot perk on your weapon. Now like I said, you can have any other upgrade, whether it be an impact damage upgrade, or a cooling system upgrade, or a range boost, just so that you can do more range and more damage and just shoot a little bit faster. Those are all the upgrades you will want to have on to this part of the guide. It actually will help you out, and the more upgrades you have in, in those categories, the more damage you're going to do per second. So now that you have all of your upgrades, what you need to do is just get something to shoot at. So you want to make sure that you have your mining beam out. Now once you have your mining beam out, you want to just start holding R2 to start firing. And in the middle of you firing, you need to hit the triangle button. Every time you hit the triangle button, it will actually switch your weapon back over to the other weapon while still firing your mining beam. So if you have the ricochet rounds on, like I said before, if you've got that shotgun perk on it, then you aren't going to be able to do this as effectively because you're going to have to reload every couple seconds. So right there, I actually took the adapter off of my weapon, switched back to the original bolt caster, and as you can see, I was immediately able to do more damage just based off the fact of me not having to reload. I was able to shoot my mining beam and the projectiles out of my gun all at the same time just because I was spamming the triangle button. Now, I did try doing this with the gun out first to try to spam out the bullets and then switch over to the mining beam. This turned out to be even harder to do, and it's definitely best just to keep the mining beam out because you will do more damage that way and you won't have to risk reloading in the middle of your clip. Now I hate to do this, but unfortunately I'm going to have to slaughter this entire herd of alien animals. Now I'm going to do it for the sake of science and we're going to be sure to analyze them first so they don't go extinct or anything. So here I go, I'm going to show you guys what I mean by just doing absolutely the max DPS. This is just a little bit of an example of how much damage you can really do. I was able to take out this entire herd of animals in little under 20 seconds by using this method. So all you really need to do again is just hold down R2 while using the mining beam and just keep spamming that triangle button. Now unfortunately you will have to reload as well so every so often you will need to switch over to your bolt caster and reload it but then you can just go right back over to your mining beam and go ahead and just keep spamming triangle again. So after getting up on that little bit of a safe spot and refueling my weapon I was back to just slaughtering this herd of animals. Now you can use the wide shot adapter if you would like, but unfortunately you will have to be able to switch back to your bolt caster every two bullets to reload it. So if you're just trying to do the absolute maximum damage per second, you will, like I said, have to have the original bolt caster out without any scatter adapters. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of a glitch. Hopefully it helps you guys defend yourself against some sentinel bots. Don't use this in the wrong way to just completely slaughter animals like I did. You know, animal lives matter. But other than that guys, hopefully you enjoyed this guide. Be sure to subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.